just Ferguson in the Midwest that's seeing the impact from the shooting death of Michael Brown. People are gathering right now to protest in downtown Baltimore. 11 News reporter George Lettis continues our team coverage tonight from outside the Mitchell Courthouse. George. Well, down in the Baltimore City chapter of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference organized this rally in honor of Michael Brown. So far, it is a small and peaceful rally. Earlier today, we wanted to get some more perspectives on the situation, so we spoke to a former police union president and a civil rights attorney. Everybody's got a. Gary McElhaney is a former Baltimore City Police Union president. He says the clashes on the streets of Ferguson is not a clear case of excessive police force. I know it's disturbing for people to look at, but the police officers have a responsibility um, to protect the community. I do question um, the overall presence and how they're conducting with some of these military vehicles that they're using. Michael Higginbotham is a civil rights author and attorney in Baltimore. You must allow for people to peacefully protest, and I think there's some examples of perhaps the police overreacting to the peaceful protesters. A complicating factor here is Ferguson's apparent racial tension. I heard that the community is 60, 67 percent African American, yet the police force has three black officers out of over 200. That to me sends a message that there is some sort of disconnect between the police department and the community. McElhaney, who is also a former Maryland Transportation Authority police chief, says he wouldn't tell the Ferguson officers to stand down because there's still a mix of peaceful protesters and rioters. He also says it appears these officers are not well trained when it comes to large scale emotional demonstrations. It's gone on far too long. You would expect one night. Maybe, maybe two nights, but not to get a handle on this after several nights, and it's actually getting progressively worse as, as we, the more we get into this. Um, it, this is going to be a lesson learned for a lot of police departments. And McElhenney also believes that police could have avoided these clashes if they were more transparent with the community about exactly how they were trying to get to the bottom of what happened to Michael Brown. We're live in downtown Baltimore, George Lattice, WBAL, TV 11 News. All right, thank you.